Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another interesting video. Before starting, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. Your support is my motivation to keep creating and sharing more content like this. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and stick around until the end of this video. Okay, great. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a warp shape or warp geometry using Abacus software and Python. Uh, generally, a warpage is a critical issue in simulating the thin and small component in manufacturing process, especially in the electronics industry uh, during the stencil printing process. A PC board often has a warpage shape due to its manufacturing process as you can see in the picture the board post board has a warpage and uh, this kind of warpage or other shape of warpage can uh, significantly affect on the result and uh, volume of the solder print solder paste printed uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, convert a simple board uh, I mean a board without any warp page, a flat board to your desired warp page shape and the warp page shape can be uh, horizontal uh, warp page or vertically or diagonally or whatever you uh, like and you can uh, use it, uh, this, kind of, this method to create your uh, warp page shape and apply it on your model okay to do that we the first thing we have to uh, create and uh, model uh, this kind of shape uh, green part uh, green uh, green board and a simple and flat board in abacus uh, software so let's do it and create uh, our model open abacus software and uh, create part the part name is board and select 3D deformable and solid and extrusion select rectangle and here write your coordinate 0 and 0 as a first coordinate and 120 and 120 as a second coordinate okay this is our board dimension and geometry and uh, for thickness I'm going to input 1.2 millimeter as a thickness of our board okay as, as you can see this board uh, is completely flat and without any curve and warpage okay uh, let's import it in assembly model and the only thing that you should do is the mesh your parts apply mesh and since we just do the uh, tutorial uh, video and uh, I want to show you how you can apply B. Uh, I don't want to make a uh, fine uh, mesh and uh, redu reduce the uh, number of the mesh size and uh, the initial and the default value is okay with me okay this structured model and then just click OK and mesh it. OK, this is our part. And then create a new job. And write input file. Click on write input file. Ignore this uh, error. And go your directory and this is our 
board into uh, input file this file consists of node information and mesh information of uh, created board and uh, for applying warpage we should uh, extract the node information of the simple board of the flat board and save it in the uh, new and uh, separate uh, text file for uh, for doing this uh, let's find the last node number this is our last node number and hold shift key and select all node okay control C copy and control V paste it in a new text file and save it with node board for example zero which means this is the uh, initial board uh, node data okay now we have uh, two different uh, excuse me I made a mistake here and you have to save it in well, with IMP extension not text uh, extension uh, for that's why I have to do it again control C control V and hold IMP. Okay. This is what I wanted. Okay, let's delete this one. And now we have two different files. This is our original file which consists of mesh information and node information. And this file is just a node uh, information of the flat board. Okay. Uh, for creating work page we need just this file and uh, open uh, I'm using uh, Jupyter notebook for running my uh, actually Python code and uh, let's open the Jupyter notebook and my code okay this is the code which we can use it for applying work page on any geometry uh, this function applied work page on the uh, our board or our model and uh, it will be ch it will change it will be changed and uh, based on our work page uh, model or work page uh, type and uh, here we can read our node uh, node of the flat board and in this section we can define and specify the work page amount which is uh, applied in a uh, thickness direction and in this section of our code we use for this code for plotting and here we actually save the uh, warp node in a separate and a new file okay our file is node board uh, zero this is our file and the amount of the warp page which is applied in uh, on the board is two millimeter and just let's run the code okay this is the a, a warp page a warp board uh, with vertical warp page as you can see these two edges of the board 
have the highest uh, height and the middle area of the board uh, has the lowest coordinate and lowest height let's do it for uh, the another and the for ver vertical or yes this is for uh, horizontal work page and this function has been changed based on the uh, work page type and the rest of the code is the same with the vertical work page and just run it and uh, as you can see in this model and in this work page these two edges, uh, edges of the board have uh, highest uh, height and the middle area has the lowest coordinate and then the last one uh, that I want to show you guys is the diagonal work page and this is the uh, function for creating and applying diagonal work page and the rest of the code is same okay and in this one these two edges of the board have the highest coordinate and in this di direction in this diagonal direction the board has the lowest uh, coordinate and lowest uh, height okay uh, for creating and uh, for applying the work page we should uh, uh, I mean for creating and making a board a work board uh, we should uh, integrate and combine the uh, node the uh, work node with the original uh, file to do that uh, we should open the for example vertical vertical work page and the original file now we should uh, delete the previous and flat nodes from the original file and then control A control C and copy the all nodes of uh, the vertical work page and paste it here and save this one vertical work page okay we have to do this work for all of them open horizontal work page open original file find the last N uh, flat nodes of the simple board and click hold the shift key and click and select the all of nodes delete the nodes and control A control C the horizontal board node and paste here and save it horizontal or page okay and the last one diagonal one As did before hold shift key and select all nodes delete them control a control C 
and paste in the original file and save it as a diagonal diagonal or pitch and save it okay now I'm going to show you how you can import these file in Amicus software and see your job okay click on file import select part and select abacus input file as you can see we have our work page board file here let's import one by one first one vertical okay and then yes here as you can see the board not flat it's not flat and board has a war page in vertical direction which means the board these two edges of the board has a war page and has a curve and these two uh, edges of the board uh, are flat and doesn't uh, don't have any war page okay this is vertical uh, my war page which is uh, which was applied on the board and this is horizontal war page and as you can see the board has a, uh, the board has a curve on horizontal direction and the last one but not the least one the diagonal board and this one as you can see the board these two edges of the board have the highest height and in this direction in this diagonal direction the board ha uh, has the lowest uh, coordinate and height by this method you can uh, apply any kinds of war, uh, war page uh, on your uh, geometry that's it for today and uh, thank you for watching this video and staying with me until end of this video if you found this tutorial helpful please remember to subscribe to my channel and share this video and your in this channel with your friends thank you so much see you soon in my next video